scores! And here come the Hats. Five to two, Chicago. <laughs> and he was back over at the same spot. He must have somebody sitting down along the glass that he's very close to because after he put that one in, they, uh, no question that not everybody, nobody, I'm sure they didn't all come with these green St. Patrick's Day hats by accident. Yes, for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Would you believe? Tony Amante has got a lot of green hats showering the ice. Beautiful shot by Amante. He gets it away very, very quickly. And on target. So Tony Amante, he got goal number 35 in the first period and 36 and 37 here in the second period. And he has given these fans something to cheer about and throw hats about. A tradition that goes back a long, long way. A hat trick. They gave the hats out today. A prophetic move by Blackhawks management. Sam Marciano is standing by ice side. Sam? Well, they're bringing off a whole bunch of them right now. If you want to take a look at what these hats look like, they're green hats, and they've got the Blackhawks logo on them right there, and they've got a ton of them to clean up, so they got their work cut out for them right now, guys. I have a feeling Sam's going to be wearing one of those later. Well, the crew doing a very quick job here. You know, it's not easy to gather up an arm full of hats, but they're doing their best. And, uh, I'm sure that by the time they get them all, the linesmen will each end up with one for sure. They'll go to the off-ice officials and say, here, hang on one for me, and give one for the referee. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the goal. There, you think the Islanders had everybody in close check? Nope. The wrong guy they didn't have. Look at here. Watch when he goes over to the boards. He'll get closer to the glass. And there's somebody there. You see him signaling? That, that's the second one for you. Whatever, Tony Amante, whoever it is. But look at this. Use the defenseman as a screen and beat Tommy Salo to the far side. So Tony Amante. He's calling for the hats there. Now he's over there. Someone along the glass there that he's very friendly with. And now he's saying, give me the hats. And they, they did. So Tony Amati with three. And we still have 3.55 to go in the second. And if they piled up all the hats and Tony wore them, one on top of the other, He'd still have some hair coming out the back of the caps. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Well, back on February the 22nd, he scored his first hat trick in this building. So it's not something that's brand new for him. He's a personable guy, too. You know, those on-ice machinations after the goal. Just a partial reflection of his personality, too. He's got a laugh that you could make out from about 10 miles away. A cackle something that distinguishes itself from just about any other laugh you've ever heard. If you're ever on a bus or a plane and you hear somebody bellowing at decibel levels that are so high, you might find dogs start to run to the site. It's probably a money. It's a, there's an interesting point about him also, Howie, that he's a restricted free agent at the end of the year. And after watching what Balfour and Roenick uh, all went through here in Chicago, he said he wants to stay here in Chicago. And money, you know, he said money can't buy happiness, which is another way of saying that I'm not going to go for the greed. I want to be paid fairly so I can stay here. I'm not going to shop myself around. 